Well, hello there. It's Darren here. Uh, doing another video, saying it's you know it's that time of year where you're not really going to allotment, so I'm just cooking uh, some new produce from the garden allotment. Uh, spring onions uh, and using up some other stuff in the fridge. That's not by the sell by date, but you know just it's going past its best, so you just might as well use it. Uh, so I'm going to be making uh, pasta bake, so I've softened the spring onions and uh, mushrooms and added bacon uh, and obviously frying that down and then I'll do the next step. So the next stage for making uh, the pasta bake is to make a roux sauce, uh, basically get a nice dollop of butter don't have to buy any expensive stuff. Uh, basically I'm using quartz buttery. Melt that down. Obviously don't burn it because I'll end up uh, leaving a burnt taste on the room sauce. The butter is melted. Uh, I'm adding some flour. That one. Doesn't really matter what it is, self raising. Plain flour doesn't really matter because you're just basically making a taste. Oh, just go in there, don't have to sip it. Obviously, stir that because you're making a paste. Basically, all that flour is getting soaked in by the butter. The flour's being added. This is add about, I don't know. See ya half a cup of flour. If it seems a bit dry just add some more butter. I've had to do that myself. Uh, constantly stirring and remembering not to burn it because it will affect the uh, flavour of the room that you're making. And the next day is just to slowly add some milk incorporating it so you have a nice thick sauce. So a nice dollop of milk. And basically all you're doing is mixing the paste that you've made into the milk. And it will thicken up as most flowers do or corn flour when you add it to the sauce and it thickens it up. It's basically the same principle. As you can see it's getting dead thick and you just keep adding milk and see how thick it's getting keep adding milk until you have a lovely smooth ish uh, consistency of a sauce and then we'll take it from there so as you can see it's quite thick it's lumpy don't worry about that uh, if you've got a Obviously one of them soup whiskers that you do when you make it smooth, use one of them or uh, just put it through a sieve. See it's quite thick so I'll be adding more uh, milk to it. So we'll get back to that in the meantime when the sauce is cooking. Uh, do the pasta. So obviously I've got the water on, gentle heat. A little bit of salt. Not too much, just a little, just a little bit just to give the pasta a little bit of flavour. Or you can just add salt to it after, whatever you want. Uh, just a normal teacup. There's one, one cup. Normally add about uh, three cups. Three cups that size should be enough for uh, a good family of four. Uh, you don't want to overfill it because you want obviously the pasta to expand a bit. Uh, Always remember doing the pasta, don't boil it. People do boil it, I just simmer it. Just, you know, just that odd stir, and it seems to work out quite fine. This is getting quite thick. So I've had about, I would say, two pints of milk, or maybe less. You'll know anyway, because it starts getting quite thick. Uh, as I say, you can either use one of these, you know, that you used to do with the soup, or put it through a sieve, because, you know, you get little lumps. <laughs> To get it smooth and thick. 
simple as that and like I say is obviously when you do that and you blend obviously more flour into it it might make you think so you might have to add some more milk uh, obviously constantly stirring so you don't burn it you don't want that burnt taste because you're cooking out the flour you don't want the grainy sort of texture you see lovely it is a bit of a cheat using that you know for years making a roux sauce it was basically doing the best you could uh, trying to get as many lumps and obviously putting it through a sieve so using that whisk I like a whisk thing is a great cheat and it makes a lovely as you can see a lovely smooth you know that's probably the right consistency uh, you might want it a bit thinner it's up to you it's a lovely lovely sauce and obviously you'll add cheese to that whatever cheese you like whatever flavor uh, you know this sauce can be used for quite numerous things lasagna anything you need a cheese sauce for so basically I've just uh, grated some mature cheddar cheese like I says depends what you want what you like nice big heap of that goes into here Get in. Obviously, we're just basically incorporating that into the sauce. A nice cheesy sauce, and obviously it'll melt down into it. Uh, taste as you go, as we say, as you normally see on any programs you watch. Because you know, I put this much in, it might. It would be just have a slight taste of cheese or you might want it even more cheesier. Yeah, see this is a good basis for a lot of things. And that'll be added to the pasta and the bacon and mushrooms and the spring onions that are uh, cooked off. I didn't use any oil. It was basically we would just uh, put a bit of water there and just down. As you can see, cheese has been cold ready. See, I can do that and it's sort of separating into proper, lovely, thick, cheesy sauce. Uh, like I say, let's taste it. You might want more cheese in it. Maybe a bit of salt, which it does, so put a little bit of salt in, not too much, uh, just to bring the flavour out. And there you go, simple roux sauce to go with the pasta. So, obviously the pasta is ready. Uh, you know when the pasta is ready, uh, you can just take a little bit out and it's not overcooked and not undercooked. It's a bit al dente because obviously when this is in the oven it's going to cook in the sauce. Uh, if the sauce is a bit too thick, keep some of your water because I'm cooking something else here. Uh, you can add that on just to thin the uh, sauce down a bit more and mix it all together and add it to your dish that you're going to put it in. Oh, it's in the dish, uh, obviously adding that little bit of water from the pasta, thinned it down a bit but yeah, bear in mind if it's too thick and you add the pasta without thinning it down a little bit, that's if it's too thick, uh, it'll cook and it'll be quite solid so you want it you know just a nice consistency uh, so when it cooks it, you know the pasta cooks out a little bit more uh, and comes out great anyway like I said I've added a bit of cheese on top that's entirely up to you if you whether you want to or not uh, you don't have to put tin foil on uh, 200 degrees for about an hour uh, you'll know it'll be nice and brown on top cooked out uh, so enjoy Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, I'm in the shed, see you later, bye.